Hey, men on top fans, if you heard about the massive earthquake on Mount Kinabalu yesterday, don't worry, we weren't in it. We were climbing the Kapoor chimney many kilometers away, but we felt the tremor. The chimney is a pumpy climb, very technical. By comparison, Kinabalu is just a long hike for tourists. The Kapoor face has four good bolts you can trust your life to. I put a fifth one on the big vertical slab, which was small crimpy holds all the way. Natalie needed a bolt to move up. We made it. We experienced this incredible climb. Got any tips for newbies? Don't look down. <laughs> look out. Look out at the jungle. It's amazing. The Kapoor starts with an overhang as much as 20 degrees off the vertical. Once you get past that... Rest. If there's a solid foothold on top of the overhang, rest before you start up the pipe. You'll need it. We made it to the top. <laughs> Looking out over the canopy, you wouldn't believe the light. And we felt the earthquake. Like something tickling your feet. Lucky we weren't upside down on that overhang. <laughs> and when the ground started shaking, all the birds in the jungle rose up straight towards us. Thousands of them. It was incredible. The rescue effort on Mount Kinabalu is now in Mopup. A bunch of school kids and the teachers were on the mountain. Thirteen people are dead. Uh, put a link in case they want to make a donation. No. If you missed the photos of my climbing group uh, sunning ourselves at the top of Kinabalu last week, click the link right down there. Not oh. that link. If they want to help, they'll find the Red Cross. Red Crescent. Whatever. Bloody hell. It's an aftershock! Uh, film it on your phone.